Hi guys, this is Zoro and uh, last Sunday I went to a flea market here in Italy. Those markets were actually uh, uh, very well known and uh, uh, they were actually uh, big and uh, with a lot of sellers and uh, people, especially before Covid. But uh, it was nice to see that uh, uh, this Sunday the, the market uh, was full of, of people and the sellers. And uh, there was a lot of collectionable objects such as bike or uh, um, books, uh, uh, comics, a uh, lot of things, um, coins uh, and so on. There was also a seller who has a lot of knives uh, from the, the 19th century and um, basically uh, most of his knives were Victorinox because Victorinox uh, is uh, very well known and uh, was super common here in Italy but also in the north of Europe and in Switzerland of course and uh, but but he also has some uh, other knives from Sheffield, England, or from Solingen in Germany, or uh, from Italy, Opinel from France. So he, has, he, he had a lot of uh, good knives from uh, the, the 19th century, especially uh, the second part of the century, that period that goes from the 19th 50 to the 1990 that period here was the most uh, the most common one and um, the price were not high so i chose three pieces and i bought them and today i'm showing to you my my purchases from this seller and uh, the first one is the wenger because it's the one with the, that I know the history uh, of the knife. The other two we will, we will see in a minute. Uh, the Wenger was a good Swiss uh, mark that uh, basically was uh, uh, the enemy. I don't know how you can say. Um, uh, of, of Victorinox. And I choose the Wenger because as I was saying before, uh, this seller has... I believe something like 50, 50 or 60 Victorinox and only this Wenger right here because Wenger is more rare and uh, this brand were actually both uh, uh, from Victorinox, Victorinox by Wenger a uh, few years ago and closed the uh, Wenger. So now some classic Wenger are um, produced under the brand Victorinox. This one is an original one, we will see in a moment of the year. And uh, it's nice that this one is, uh, the box was to sell the knife in Europe because here is uh, Germany and uh, this one is Spanish. Navaya Suiza, Certificato de Garanzia Incluido, Spanish. This one is English, of course. Genuine Swiss Army Knife, Warranty Certificate Included, Wenger of Switzerland. And this one over here, I believe, is French. I don't know French at all, but I think that this is French. And uh, let's check the knife over here. And uh, let's see the certificate. It's nice that it still has the, the original box with the certificate, so you can see and check the, the certificate. comes with uh, the all languages four languages Wenger it's difficult to open it's an old uh, piece of paper and uh, I will show to you so if you want to read it you can uh, pause it on the video Those are all the functions available from the, the brand. This one is a trade bottle opener from Wenger. A 
uh, yeah, the, the warranty was valid for five years. I believe that uh, is expired uh, now. And uh, yes, that's all for the for the Avenger. Nice to see the uh, the original cardboard with the the guarantee, the warranty certificate, the guarantee students in. Yeah, sorry guys, I don't know Germany either. I can read Spanish because it's similar to Italian, but uh, Certificato de Garanzia in Grido. And uh, yes, let's check the knife real quickly. And uh, yeah, it was nice because the, the script uh, say the year of the knife, which is 1976. Um, 1976. And uh, this script over here means something like uh, customer gift for Christmas. Basically, it was a promotional knife, um, probably given for free to customer. Um, I don't know in which, uh, by which brand or probably it was a company or uh, I don't know. It was a gift for Christmas, basically, from 1976. And uh, the knife is very similar to a Victorinox. Of course, this is the Wenger logo, which is different from uh, Victorinox. It has the bottle opener over here. And uh, basically, this one over here. And uh, on the other side, this one is for the nails. It's not sharpened. And uh, over here we have, yeah, the, the slip joints uh, are doing fine even after all these years. The knife is basically brand new. And this one is the bottle, the, the can opener. I don't know if you can see well on the camera. This is path pending from Wenger. This is sharpen. And uh, yeah, the last one is of course the knife. I want to, to show to you the, the script over here, but it's not uh, easy to do. Basically, it says Wenger, uh, Delamont, Switzerland Stainless, with the, an umbrella on it. I don't know if you can see the, the umbrella over here. The umbrella on the blade. There are a few nicks over here, it, but it's basically brand new. And then there are those two over here, which is uh, opened from the inside. This is strange because the Victorinox came out from, from, from the outside, but I cannot take them out uh, from the outside. This is nice because the Victorinox one, uh, you can lose them very easily because you can take them out from the outside of the knife. This one not. There are still here from the 1976 and you can actually take them off from the inside but as you can see it's not easy and uh, the other one <laughs> nice Still in good shape after all those years. Very nice purchase, the Wenger one. Yeah, let's uh, put this one over here and let's quickly check the other knives. We will see this one first. I don't know for sure the provenance of this knife. I believe that is Italian but I'm not sure of it it looks like an Italian knife from the 1960 
made in Maniago, but uh, because I've seen um, similar knife made by Korikama, which means uh, United Cutlery from Maniago. But uh, the brand on this knife is Biat. I, I will show you in a moment. There is a script over here. I don't know if you can see well. Probably was the name of the first owner of the knife. You can see the K over here. I don't know. I cannot read all the name, but basically it was Christoph Kri, which is not an Italian name. So probably this, this knife came from uh, Austria or uh, Switzerland, Germany. Don't know for sure, but it look it looks like uh, an Italian knife. Yeah, the bottle opener is still solid after all those years. And uh, over here came with this very nice, pointy, very pointy. Very well made, very solid knife, multi-tool. I like this one very, very much because it's uh, basically you can open it with only one hand because of the pin over here. And it's super sharp, super, super sharp. This one is nice to open a box or something like that. It's super pointy and sharp. It's super... I mean, that that uh, slip joints over here are fine even after all these years. And uh, this one over here. It's a little bit rusty with a good patina over here, but it's nice to see. And uh, there are the two blades, the small one, which is super sharp, super sharp. I think that this one was resharpened by the seller, super sharp, with no uh, script on the blade. And the other one, the big one. It is super sharp still, very strong on the slip joint. Very, very nice. Super sharp, convex to zero, basically. Very nice. And uh, you can check this brand over here, which is Biat. I don't know. With uh, what's look like, uh, I don't know, a balance. What? What sort of design is that? Biat. There are no other script on the knife except for the, for the name of the original owner. I don't know. And uh, Biat. I wasn't able to uh, to find any uh, any news or uh, info on this brand on the internet, but the um, the manufacturer of this knife looks like an Italian knife from uh, Maniago. And uh, there were also on the on the seller good knife from um, from England, from Sheffield. But I choose this one because uh, it looks uh, nice to me. It uh, remembers me of uh, an Italian slip joints and uh, cl classic Italian slip joints from the 19 uh, from the basically the first half of the 19 the period between the two great war and uh, I don't know for sure but this looks like ivory but I, I don't know it could be some sort of bone or uh, it look like uh, ivory but uh, I'm not sure of it and uh, this knife is Germany, made in Solingen, but it reminds me of an Italian knife that we call Temperino. And uh, it has only two blades, the big one and the small one. The small one is this one, with the script Rostflay, Ed Wustoff Solingen. Nice, this sort of design over here of the brand. The brand logo is nice. And uh, Wustoff, Ed Wustoff, 
Solingen, Germany. Very well made. With, uh, it's very, very well made. After all those years, this knife looks uh, fine to me. I believe that uh, this one and uh, the other one are older than the Wenger. No, no, I don't know for sure the year. And uh, this is uh, the small blade and uh, the main one. Looks very, very nice. Same script, Rost Frey. And uh, add the Wust of Solingen. Rost Frey basically means um, stainless steel in Germany. So it's not the... The, bread, the name of the brand of the knife is just uh, the name of the steel. It uh, basically means inox in Germany, in German. And uh, the brand is this one, Ed Wusthof, I think. Solingen is the city in Germany which is famous for uh, knife making. I have seen um, similar uh, knife as this one made in Italy, but the Italian one, the newest one, came with um, a loop over here for uh, the keychain or uh, something like that. While the original one, even in Italy, the original one, um, the oldest, the oldest one basically, didn't come with anything, any sort of. Uh, Uh, ring or uh, keychain or something like that. They were clean, such as this one over here. So th this is a proof that it's actually an old one. So I'm very curious uh, about what you think uh, of these three knives over here. And uh, as I was saying before, there were also England knife from um, Sheffield and a French uh, knife uh, such as Opinel, but uh, just those three were uh, uh, the most interesting uh, to me and uh, I'm very curious about uh, uh, the challenge between the, the Italian, the Switzerland and the Germany one. Which one do you like the most? Which one uh, would you choose? Uh, And uh, yeah, those are uh, nice, uh, nice uh, addiction to the collection, uh, especially for the, the price, which were uh, quite low. Uh, it was a good deal. And uh, it was funny to go again on the flea market. And uh, I hope that... Uh, Uh, you can find uh, also some uh, good deal uh, to this sort of market and I like uh, them very very much and um, I go when, uh, when I can and um, uh, tell me which one do you prefer and uh, what are your experience with the, the flea market that's all for today and uh, we will see you on the next video bye